Now, Thomas Jefferson said, rebellion against tyranny is obedience to God. And my prophet Muhammad said, he said, when you see fitna and musiba spreading, evil spreading on the land, you should resist it with your hand. Or speak against it with your tongue or eat it in your heart. Eating it in your heart is the weakest of faith. I am duty bound to stand. More so, I am an amakri of an impeccable pedigree. Impeccable pedigree. And it, I am duty bound to fight and stand by the side of the dispossessed people of River State. And I stood on the side of the people of River State and I fought. And I started with Operation Isaac Boro. And we started entering communities after community. After Operation Isaac Boro, we launched Operation Dennis Rebresima, where we liberated Okrika, Ogubolo, Port Harcourt. We took Port Harcourt for eight hours. The governor was abroad. Everybody ran away. One Sunday morning, who the was, white flag. Who, who was the governor then? Ottilie was governor, but he went abroad because the team became too much. The more the army were coming, the more we were saying, Bay, Bay, Wamukoro Tiba, hey, Wamukoro. We were ready anywhere. Omalele Piketeti, the, the, the signal of war has been planted. The revolution has been fast-tracked, and we went. But our elder said, softly, softly. If not by now, maybe Nigeria would have been chased out of our land. So the elders appealed. We entered there. Our passenger, the British, the American embassy sent people. The EU sent people to my camp. The Canadian embassy sent people to my camp that I should lower tempo. I said no. The elders in the INC and everybody said we should. Our passenger said he was making peace. He was sending that accomplice, Nuru Ribadu. To come and meet me, he said, "Youth like you." One day I was there. Somebody called me. Hello, who is that? I said, "Are you?" I said, "Who are you?" He said, "I am Baba." I said, "I don't have any Baba." He said, "I am the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria." I said, "Oh, the Occupation Force." He said he was making peace. Everybody appealed to me. That was on the third of September, two thousand and four. On the 15th, after he said there should be cessation of hostilities, he thought that after the cessation of hostilities, he can go on to kill me. So he came and bombed our camps. Eleven of our camps were destroyed. Who on did? The Who did? The federal government, five, uh, four helicopters and two jets came to bomb 11 of our camps. And they started bombing from after 2 to after 6. But miraculously, there are people here who were there now. They might not like my testimony, my testimony of the Butch Boys. They brought 19 war, 19 war boats. What did they call uh, What did they call those their boats? Uh, gun boats. And God made the river into land at Obama. All the, the river dried up and all the 19 boats went aground. They couldn't move. And they were bombing. Not even a chicken died. We captured one dog from Ateke's man in Buguma and we called the dog Ateke. Even he, they could not kill him. <laughs> <laughs> the dog we captured. So on a serious note, there are issues that had come up on the killing of Marshal Ari. One Kama came for, to re, re, reclaim with a gang of about four boats to recapture Buguma from us on the 22nd of May when we took Buguma. And he was shot on the head. And he came to us and they brought him to me. And he said, oh, my, uh, my senior brother, I said, come out. I said, I am an IYC member too. Omongubo, please, please. On the previous night, Kama was talking to me on the phone where he was saying I should come and bow down to Godfather. 
I take it so that there will be peace, that there was no need for me to die. So he did not know what we were planning. That was when they were burying uh, Dikibo. So we wanted it to, we want to distract them. We told them that we were attacking Okrika so that they would run. All the governors were running away. But we are not going to Okrika. We are going some other direction. So while they were waiting for us at Okrika, we went to Buguma, Tombia, and liberated those places by the grace of God. And Kama came, he was shot. And Kama said, we are questioning him. And one of the questions we asked him was about my brother, my senior brother, who was all the last man to the call. When we started this struggle and we went to him, he, he told us that we don't know what we are doing. We have declared war against Nigeria, Marshal Ari. He told us, he drove us from his house. So we asked him, he said himself, Uh, Big Joe and one Dan Ladi went to bracket Marshal Ari in Abuja. Bracket. That was what he said. I don't know what bracket means. Maybe it's their court language for killing people. So we asked him. He was dying. He was saying we should give him water. There was no water. I said, who sent you? He said, we should ask Ateke and Soboma. And he also said, the then, uh, what do they call him? The then CSO, Ade, himself and Soboma were going regularly to see Ade in government house. 